Get ready for a jam-packed update as we unravel the latest and greatest from the world of entertainment. The excitement is palpable as we dive into this week's blockbuster news. Jenna Ortega reveals fresh updates on Wednesday Season 2, while Matthew Lillard confirms the start of filming for Five Nights at Freddy's 2. Plus, the John Wick universe expands with a brand new sequel series, Under the High Table. Fans of House of the Dragon have mixed feelings as the series is set to wrap up with Season 4, and production on Season 3 is gearing up for early 2025. And that's not all. D23 has brought a wave of thrilling announcements, including James Cameron teasing a new Terminator project, the revised storyline for Spider-Man 4 with Kingpin possibly out, and the confirmation of Incredibles 3. To top it off, we get our first look at the title and plot details for Avatar 3. Buckle up as we explore these electrifying updates and more. Disney's biennial D23 Expo has delivered a treasure trove of exciting announcements. Following the jaw-dropping news from San Diego Comic-Con in July, where Robert Downey Jr. made a surprising return to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. The D23 showcase, however, upped the ant with a slew of new reveals. First up was the official trailer for Moana 2, which picks up three years after the original film. Moana and the demigod Maui are back, facing a fresh threat to Oceania. In addition to the sequel, Disney is also working on a live-action remake of Moana, with production already underway and a projected release date of 2026. The live-action trend continues with Snow White, which has faced some production hurdles and controversy. A new teaser trailer reveals Rachel Zegler as Snow White and Gal Gadot as the Evil Queen, alongside a heavily CGI-enhanced world. Disney's announcement also includes a live-action remake of Lilo and Stitch, set for summer 2025. The teaser showcased Stitch in a familiar, albeit updated design that matches Disney's impressive track record with CGI anthropomorphic characters. Pixar fans were treated to the news of Incredibles 3, with Brad Bird returning to direct. The announcement was brief, but it follows the massive success of Incredibles 2, which was the highest-grossing animated film until the release of Inside Out 2. In other Pixar news, Toy Story 5 was teased, with director Andrew Staten promising a new adventure where Woody, Buzz, and friends face off against tech-savvy kids. Scheduled for summer 2026, this sequel will explore the intersection of toys and technology. The Frozen franchise is also expanding, Frozen 3 is set for a 2027 release, with the teaser showing Elsa and Anna riding majestic creatures. Additionally, a Frozen Broadway musical is heading to Disney Plus in 2025, and plans for a Frozen 4 are already in the works. Another sequel on the horizon is Zootopia 2, bringing back Judy Hopps and Nick Wilde, with Oscar winner Ki Hu Kwan joining the cast as a snake named Gary. The film is expected to hit theaters around Thanksgiving next year. Marvel fans got a glimpse of Agatha Coven of Chaos, formerly Agatha All Along, featuring Katherine Hahn and a new original song. The series follows Agatha Harkness's quest to regain her powers. In the Marvel Cinematic Universe, Fantastic Four and Daredevil Born Again also had their trailers leaked. Fantastic Four stars Pedro Pascal and Vanessa Kirby, while Daredevil features Charlie Cox and Vincent D'Onofrio, along with new characters like White Tiger and returning ones like John Bernthal's Punisher. Finally, James Cameron revealed Avatar Fire and Ash, set for a December 19, 2025 release. The film will explore new Na'vi tribes and regions, with concept art showcasing the Ash people and their unique culture. For those eager to dive into Na'vi lore sooner, the video game Avatar Frontiers of Pandora is already available. Capping off the D23 Expo, Tron Ares was announced, marking the return of Jeff Bridges and introducing Jared Leto as the titular Ares. With a soundtrack by Nine Inch Nails, this third installment promises to reignite interest in the franchise. Get ready for one of Netflix's most anticipated returns. Wednesday is back for season two, and it's gearing up to smash records once again. After taking the world by storm with its first season, which topped even Stranger Things in English language viewership, Wednesday's second season promises even more chills, thrills, and a dash of dark humor. Jenna Ortega, who has become a household name, dishes out fresh details about the upcoming season in a recent interview with Vanity Fair. Not only is Ortega reprising her iconic role, but she's also stepping into the producer's chair, bringing her unique vision to life. Season 2 currently filming in Dublin is set to drop in late 2025, possibly around Halloween. This time, expect a heavier horror vibe inspired by classics like Edgar Allan Poe's The Mask of the Red Death. 
Plus, we'll dive deeper into Wednesday's twisted relationship with their parents, Morticia and Gomez, with Catherine Zeta-Jones and Luis Guzman now regulars. With new characters, shocking twists, and a storyline that will keep you on the edge of your seat, Wednesday's return is set to be nothing short of spine-tingling. Mark your calendars. October 2025 can't come soon enough. Horror fans, get ready to dive back into the spine-chilling world of Five Nights at Freddy's. The sequel is officially on its way, and it promises to be even more terrifying than the first. Matthew Lillard, who delivered a memorable performance in the original film, has just revealed when production will begin on Five Nights at Freddy's 2. During a recent interview on the JB and Millie YouTube channel, Lillard was asked about his potential return for a future Scooby-Doo movie. Instead, he surprised everyone by dropping a bombshell about the much-anticipated sequel, casually stating, I'm doing FNAF in October. While Lillard kept tight-lipped about the plot and characters, his revelation that filming will kick off in October has sent fans into a frenzy of excitement. With key cast members like Josh Hutcherson, Elizabeth Lale, and Lillard himself expected to reprise their roles, and with director Emma Tammy once again at the helm, all the essential ingredients are in place for another horror hit. As the fall season approaches, the buzz around Five Nights at Freddy's 2 is only going to intensify. Will the sequel raise the stakes with even more terrifying animatronics and a deeper, more gripping storyline? With filming set to start this October, we can expect more news and sneak peeks in the coming months. Horror fans, mark your calendars, because Five Nights at Freddy's 2 is set to haunt theaters on December 5, 2025. Pandora is about to ignite with excitement. At the D23 Expo, James Cameron unveiled the title and first details of the highly anticipated third installment of the Avatar saga. Brace yourselves for Avatar 3 Fire and Ash, a cinematic journey that promises to expand the rich world of Pandora even further. The newly revealed title hints at a fiery adventure as Cameron takes audiences into previously unexplored regions of Pandora. The concept art shared at the expo teased breathtaking visuals, Neytiri soaring on her banshee, imposing giant airships, and the ominous Ash People, mysterious Na'vi characters drawn to violence and power. Cameron assured fans that Fire and Ash will not only dazzle with its visuals, but also deliver a deeply emotional experience. The story will pick up shortly after the events of Avatar 2 The Way of Water, following the adventures of Jake and Neytiri as they encounter the formidable Ash People. Returning fan favorites include Sigourney Weaver, Sam Worthington, Zoe Saldana, Stephen Lang, and Kate Winslet, ensuring that the beloved characters continue their epic saga. Originally intended as a single film alongside The Way of Water, Cameron split the story into two parts due to its extensive scope. Avatar 3 Fire and Ash is set to hit theaters on December 19, 2025. Get ready to dive back into the awe-inspiring world of Pandora. Get ready, Spider-Man fans! Spider-Man 4 is swinging into the spotlights as one of the most eagerly anticipated MCU projects on the horizon. Originally envisioned as a gritty, street-level story, Spider-Man 4 seemed poised to break away from the multiverse chaos of previous films. Early whispers hinted at appearances from iconic characters like Kingpin and Daredevil, promising a more grounded narrative. However, recent updates from Tom Holland and a Discord AMA with insider Alex Perez suggest that the Kingpin and street-level elements might no longer be part of the plan. As it stands, Spider-Man 4 is tentatively slated for a July 2026 release, a date initially earmarked by Marvel but now under Sony's banner. The film's storyline could still shift, potentially delaying the introduction of Kingpin or other characters like Norman Osborn or Otto Octavius. Zendaya is expected to return as MJ, and filming is anticipated to begin later this year to stay on track for the 2026 release. With the release schedule still in flux, and the director yet to be confirmed, the speculation surrounding Spider-Man 4 is ripe with possibilities. Although many details remain unconfirmed, Alex Perez's insights offer intriguing hints about the future of Spider-Man's cinematic journey. As Sony Pictures takes the reins on release dates, fans should keep an eye out for more updates on this web-slinging saga. In the meantime, get excited for what promises to be an electrifying new chapter for everyone's favorite friendly neighborhood, Spider-Man. Gather round, fans of Westeros! House of the Dragon has revealed its epic roadmap. During a recent press conference about the Season 2 finale, showrunner Ryan Condal unveiled that the Game of Thrones prequel will extend its reign for two more seasons, concluding with a dramatic Season 4. This confirmation means that the saga of the Targaryen Civil War 
based on George R. R. Martin's Fire and Blood, will wrap up in a total of four seasons. As for the immediate future, Condal shared that the writing of season three is already underway. Production is set to begin in early-ish 2025, with the show's signature high-stakes drama and intense storytelling expected to continue. While the exact episode count for season three hasn't been settled yet, Condal anticipates that the structure and pacing will remain consistent with what fans have seen in season two. George R.R. R. Martin had previously hinted that the story might need four seasons of 10 episodes, each to fully cover The Dance of the Dragons, but HBO had not confirmed this until now. Although the exact premiere date for season three is still under wraps, don't expect it to hit HBO before 2026. The wait will be long, but the journey through the turbulent Targaryen era promises to be worth every moment of anticipation. Prepare for more dragons, intrigue, and epic battles as House of the Dragon continues its fiery saga. The John Wick universe is about to get a thrilling expansion with the upcoming action series, John Wick Under the High Table. Lionsgate is doubling down on its billion-dollar franchise with this exciting new venture, which promises to deepen the intrigue and action that fans have come to love. Deadline has reported that this new series is set to be executive produced by none other than Keanu Reeves, the star of the franchise, and Chad Stileski, the visionary director behind the John Wick films. Written by Robert Levine, the co-creator of The Old Man, John Wick Under the High Table will pick up directly after the explosive events of John Wick Chapter 4. The High Table is left in disarray, and a fresh batch of characters will emerge, striving to carve out their own place in this high-stakes world. Meanwhile, familiar faces from the franchise will continue their allegiance to the old world order, setting the stage for a riveting clash of new and old. The series aims to blend innovative new elements with beloved characters, reminiscent of the approach taken with the Continental from the world of John Wick, which was a major hit on Peacock in 2023. Though Reeves will not be acting in the series, his involvement as an executive producer underscores his commitment to ensuring the series remains true to its roots. While there's no release date yet, the anticipation is already building. As Terminator fans eagerly count down the days until the Netflix anime adaptation, Terminator Zero, hits screens, it seems that franchise creator James Cameron has another surprise up his sleeve. In a recent interview with The Hollywood Reporter, Cameron hinted at a brand new project within the Terminator universe, separate from the forthcoming anime series. While Cameron was initially discussing his thoughts on the new Terminator Zero series, and other franchise offshoots like the Sarah Connor Chronicles, he let slip that he was working on an undisclosed Terminator project of his own. Though he kept details tightly under wraps, Cameron's excitement about this new endeavor was palpable. He mentioned that his project has no connection to Terminator Zero, instead focusing on fresh aspects of the franchise that he's been exploring independently. When pressed for specifics, Cameron played it close to the vest humorously suggesting that revealing more could trigger a visit from a potentially dangerous robotic agent. As the anime adaptation gets ready to drop and Cameron's mysterious project remains shrouded in secrecy, it's clear that the world of Terminator still holds many surprises in store. Fans will need to stay tuned for more updates, but one thing is certain, James Cameron's touch could be just what the franchise needs to reclaim its former glory. Get ready for more superhero action! because Pixar's iconic family is making a grand return. Incredibles 3 is officially in the works, much to the delight of fans who have been eagerly awaiting the next chapter since the blockbuster success of Incredibles 2. Pixar Animation Studios has confirmed that the highly anticipated sequel will be helmed once again by writer-director Brad Bird, the visionary behind the original Incredibles and its 2018 sequel. The announcement came during Disney's spectacular D23 Expo presentation, where Pixar chief Pete Docter revealed the exciting news. While specific details, including the release dates and voice cast, remain under wraps, the confirmation of Incredibles 3 follows the massive success of Inside Out 2, which recently became Pixar's highest-grossing film ever. This sets a high bar for the Parr family's next adventure. Though Incredibles 2 concluded with a major shift, legalizing superheroes and integrating them back into society, the ending left room for fresh, thrilling stories. Bird had hinted at the possibility of further exploring this world, and fans can now look forward to seeing what new challenges and adventures await the Incredibles. With Brad Bird at the helm and the Parr family set for new escapades, this sequel is shaping up to be a highly anticipated addition to the Pixar legacy. Stay tuned for more updates as this exciting project develops. Which of these exciting new projects from Disney and Pixar are you most looking forward to? Is it Moana's new adventure? 
The Return of the Incredibles? Or something else entirely? Let me know in the comments. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe.